up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. <laughs> and today I have a costume. It's so funny. I never thought I would be the type of person to kiss their dog in their mouth. Like, I would look at dog owners like, oh yeah, girls, like, ugh, they let their dog kiss him in the mouth, like, ugh. But now that I have a dog, I'm like so obsessed with her and I love her so much. I mean, I don't know if I love her as much as a kid. Like, I don't know if I can say that much. Like, I wouldn't, I feel, feel like I would die for my kid. Like, I don't know if I would die for Dasha, but pretty darn close. Mwah. All I got from the SSL was some pieces for Dasha. Which is so crazy, but I, I guess I, I guess I did a good job in convincing myself not to get anything <laughs> because I don't know it just felt like force, and I feel like fashion shouldn't be forced. It should be fun. It should be love at first sight, you know, when it comes to clothes. The reason why I didn't include these pieces in my last wish list video is because I'm like I'm not a dog, you know. <laughs> but but then I'm like you know it'd be cute, and also I really like the brand that I purchased from, so. I figured this would be a fun little video in case any of you guys have dogs or if you just like dogs, like look at what I got my dog. I was on the little doggy section because now y'all, now that Dasha is like, I see she's not gonna grow any bigger. Now I'm like, okay, now I can buy her clothes because I'm not gonna lie, Dasha had three little sweaters, baby. And that's all she been wearing for the past three, four months. So now I'm like, I need to get her, you know, some little pieces, especially for the spring and summer. Like I just want her to be so cute and so dainty and especially because she is so cute and so dainty and she is a total diva so she gotta be looking right with the attitude that she got and it's funny because i was on there before the sale had started and i was like hell to the no 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 i ain't finna spend 300 dollars on dasha no damn sweater or 200 dollars or even 100 dollars on no one piece for dasha so i had put a little pieces in my little wish list so i'm like when the sale comes that's when I'm at the bad Dasha stuff. I mean, same with me, same with me, same for my little dog. So this is the first little piece that I got Dasha. And as you guys can see, it is a little tie dye little t-shirt. Honestly, if they had like a similar one for me or like an, like a, a matching version for like the parent or the dog mom or dog dad, like I would have bought all of us one. But only for Dasha. With Dasha being um, a female dog, I don't know, I feel like I would be the same way with my kid. Like I don't want to, to dress her in all like pink clothes so I kind of try to gravitate towards any color that's not pink <laughs> more like neutral tones so when I say this is I was this one I was like definitely yes as you guys can see it's in like this you know greenish tannish brownish bluish tie-dye and then what did it for me was a little tie around the neck y'all it was a little tie for me I'm like, I could just see her just being just so dainty the way she walked with this little tie. Like, yes, she is a bougie dog. Yes, she runs my world. And also, I was just like, versatile. Because if I wanted to, I could take off the little tie and then she'll just have, you know, the little t-shirt. So it's really like two outfits in one. So I also kept that in mind. But what I will say, putting it on Dasha was a bit of a hassle. It's like Dasha, when she get the clothes on, I feel like she's more comfortable, but trying to put the clothes on her is a bit of a hassle because she tries to bite and she just doesn't like the process at all. So yeah, I got a couple of little nips trying to put this on her and then especially like a little tie around the neck, baby. She's like, uh-uh. The brand is Colina Strada and I've heard of Colina Strada. I've definitely seen her pieces on Essence for like <laughs> humans. And I know it's like very colorful. Um, she uses like a lot of like floral, like prints, like painted on. I think her stuff is actually really beautiful. I was um, on her website to see what I could find out for, you know, the sake of this video. And I went to her about page and everything you guys is made in the United States, made in New York actually, which I thought was so freaking dope. And she uses a lot of like dead stock, like fabrics. Um, I was looking at this one little vest, baby. She gonna sell for a hundred dollars, but I'm still thinking on her cause I'm like, I don't know you know, if I can make it really work in my wardrobe. But also, I feel like it's a nice, fun piece to have for the spring, summer to wear with like, you know, shorts or, you know, white pants, maybe like a little flare or something like that. So I'm still thinking about this piece, but I'm leaning towards yes, because especially I can match, you know, Dasha. And then I also got her another Kalina Strada little piece. And I got them both because they were both like more than half off. Like originally, I think they both were like $90. And I was like, hell no, no, no. But then, 
when the SSL came, they were both like fifty dollars each. So I'm like, okay, two for the price of one, perfect. And also, a hundred percent cotton. Um, I believe like the little scarf too is cotton. It's like a lightweight cotton. And yeah, so fabric of the earth. A little uh, bow gonna be flying in the wind so beautifully. And this is the girliest thing that I'll probably ever buy her ever in life. To be quite honest, I did want to purchase this one for her, but I didn't like the tie around the neck. I didn't like that thick satin purple. I felt like it would probably be uncomfortable and like hot for her in like the spring and summer. But I did like those colors better. But anyway, this one I thought was cute enough. Also, I love the freaking tie or the little um, scarf. I feel like low key, when I take it off, because I am going to detach it, I might be able to bust a fit with her. I don't know. We're going to see. Like, I don't know if I can maybe tie. Look, hold on. I could maybe do some. I don't know. Or maybe I could probably hold on. <laughs> Look, hold on, Dasha. Y'all know I can't let Dasha or Connor have nothing. But yeah, maybe I could do a little something with her too. So it's actually three in one. Anyways, I thought it was a really good deal for these two little pieces considering, you know, that they're made in the United States, that they are fabrics of the earth, and just how versatile they are. So I'm super, super happy for these two little pieces for Dasha. I know she's so happy too. She's sitting here sleeping in my lap right now. Yeah, this is her nap time, y'all. She be so like this during the day, but then nighttime come and she turn into like a freaking maniac. But yeah, y'all, these are the only two pieces that I got from the Essence sale. Like I said, it was nothing that I felt too compelling for me to buy, so I didn't get anything for myself. But not to say that I'm not going to in the future though, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just, and where I, I always am when it comes to like clothes, I just really wanna look inward and just really, you know, figure out if I really need this stuff, y'all. Cause I know, you know, being a lover of fashion, it's just easy to get caught up. It's easy to be like, I need this. It's easy to be like, I want this collab, I want this collab. Especially being, you know, into fashion, I feel like it's so easy for you to put looks in your head and you could be like, Boom, I got some in my closet that can go with that shoe. Like, damn, I need this shoe for this look. So I try to be like more, or like, I try to be less like that and more like, how can I make the pieces in my wardrobe look different? Or how can I wear them differently? And I would advise you guys to do the same thing. You know, don't feel like you need to go out and bad, bad, bad. I am about to get going. I'm about to go to Soho actually to go try on diesel jeans. I'm gonna go to the diesel store. Cause I just really feel like I need more bottoms. So, yeah um i don't know maybe i can add that to the end of this video do y'all want to come to soho with me let's just go to soho y'all gonna come with me we're gonna go to the diesel store i was gonna go to tokyo 7 because low key i got a check to pick up from them but i'm just gonna do that on my next day off but i do really 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 want to go to diesel so let's go to diesel <laughs> I cannot stop listening to freaking Fallen. I can't stop listening to this song by Maya. It's such a good song. Anyways, I am off to the diesel store, but right after I have dinner with my friend Allison. So figure I would dress for both occasions. This is like my third time putting on clothes today. But I don't know why I'm this type of person, but like literally I would change two to three times a day like when I wasn't working in the, like in the summertime. I don't know why I'm like that. Um, I love this little color scheme that I have going here. Puffer, Elizabeth Marant, button up tote tim. Trousers are, uh, they are like a one-off from, um, why am I blanking? Why am I blanking? Front General Store. They were, I think, secondhand, so I can't like link them down below or anything like that. Shoes are Margiela. And yeah, I just really love this freaking neutral, tannish, brownish color tone. Bag is La Mer. And then my hat is actually my dad's hat. Um, so very sentimental to me, actually. But it's Izod. And yeah, it usually it's cuffed like this. But I just took the cuff out because I wanted it to have a little, a little floof. you guys so this is what the diesel store looks like when you walk in um as you can see they're white 
the space is like white for the most part with red in the background i thought that was really cool and if you didn't know glenn martin's is now the creative director of diesel and what he has done with the brand i'm just like obsessed with not gonna lie like he is giving looks okay he's giving like early 2000s like looks going out to the club like i love the mini skirts look at these little dog clothes y'all i couldn't believe they had dog clothes i didn't like any of them but i was just like oh my god that's so cute and thoughtful that they would think of dogs but yeah as far as the collection i think that there are definitely some pieces there these little jeans here i should have read up on them but as you can see it has like the year i guess from where this fit comes from so i thought that was a pretty cool concept but if i'm honest y'all know what i'm gonna say it's not that versatile with that big patch on there i'm like who gonna wear, wear you know what if you love these jeans you don't want to wear that like white patch on them every day me 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 but i guess i guess i guess everybody but um yeah i love the color scheme too i thought it was a nice little color scheme cute little just tops you can just throw on with jeans little tank tops and y'all know i'm not big on logos but i didn't really mind the little d not gonna lie i didn't mind the little d but i did feel like Ooh, the pieces was a little bit pricey. I don't know. I don't know if these always has been a little bit. I guess they have been. But for my style, I'm just like, I can't drop for it. I would never drop, you know, more than $300 on diesel. You know, I'm not like a diesel lover. Yeah, they had the little white shoe section. And then I had a couple pieces that I wanted to try. Because I mainly went there for jeans. I've just been loving the jeans. I love the low-rise jean. I feel like it's so good for my long torso body. But yeah, these jeans that I have on right now is the Bootcut 1969 D-Ebby. And as you can see, it's just like a little... It's tapered at the leg and then it has like a little flare at the bottom. I thought it was really actually cute and flattering. And it just, just reminded me of my auntie... Um, just going out. This is like what she would wear these types of jeans going out, you know, to the club at night. And I would never wear these jeans with my tabby boots, just saying. I feel like they're too stretchy. But next, I tried on this little skirt, and this is the laminated organza skirt in this little olive green color. I thought it was so cute. And I don't know, I feel like I need just a little piece or two that's like experimental in my wardrobe. And I thought this skirt could be cute to, you know, implement. Didn't like the bomber, but I feel like it's cute for someone, but not for me. But yeah, this skirt is cute, y'all. It was really cute, not gonna lie. Like, I can see that it was just like a white little tank top in the summertime. And um, Anyway, this jean that I'm wearing right here is the Boot Cut 1978 Dark Blue. And really love the fit of this one. As you can see, it's super wide leg, but fits the booty nice, okay? It's hugging the butt. It's fitting how it's supposed to fit in the, you know, everywhere area i tried them on in a 25 and they fit me perfectly typically i'm like a 23 waist i don't know if it's because it was like a mid-rise probably also these jeans are 100 percent cotton the last jeans that i just took off those had a little bit of stretch in them i don't know how much stretch i should have checked but i would definitely say three percent or more so i have left diesel y'all and i ended up getting a pair of jeans which pair do you guys think i got i'm gonna let you guys know in my next video which pair i ended up going with hope you guys enjoyed the day with me i'm about to get a little cocktail before dinner with my friend and i will see you guys in my next video peace